Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded in a while, that's because I'm working on a movie which is going to be a massive release on my channel. So today I'm just making a little short video on 5 tips, that's 10, 5 tips of home workouts that you're doing wrong. So the first one is the dumbbell curl. What people normally do with the dumbbell curl is they grab their dumbbell and they go you like swing it back and forward and their arm goes everywhere the way you're supposed to do this is your arm should just rest by the side of your hip bring it out a little bit all the way to the bottom all the way up you should be standing up nice and straight for this that way you get the best improvement and you don't damage your back it can damage your spine really badly if you're bent over like that because of the weight so down and up, your arms to stay in the same place. Don't thrust like that, don't use momentum because that is a, a, a waste of energy and B, that is not getting you any gain. You need to be working your bicep, okay? Lifting it up and down. The next thing you're probably doing wrong is the sit-up. People do sit-ups like this and lift themselves up and up. You need to keep legs at about a 45 degree angle like this. Okay, your back needs to be straight. Hands on your ears. All the way down and all the way up. You only want, like, your shoulders. Don't let your neck touch the floor. Only your shoulders. So down and up. And down and up. And down and up. And to get any sort of improvement, you need to do at least 30. The third workout you're probably doing wrong is the bench press. With bench press, people normally get a load of weight on the end, say, I don't know, 30 kilograms, okay? And just to show how much they can lift, and then they try and do as many as they can with that. What you need to do is you need to get a weight you can handle and do a lot of reps with. I'm about 13 and a quarter. I shouldn't really be lifting weights because it could damage my bones because they're still growing. I've got two halves on here, a two, and I think the bar is six. Kilograms. That's about 12 kilograms, I think. So that is a weight that I can do a lot of reps with continuously without getting too tired. So what you need to do, what people do wrong, and what you need to do. So people do bench press with their arms tucked in like that, and then they like push up like that, down and like up, and their legs are tucked in a lot. Don't do that, legs. 45 degree angle again, take the weight, down, arms should be halfway between horizontal and vertical, about 45 degrees inwards, your hands need to be shoulder width and then about 5 inches apart, so for me that's the second grip on my barbell, then your shoulders need to be pressed out and your chest needs to be pressed out, and then you go up and down up and down and you need to continuously do this because if you like give up halfway through then again you won't get any gain this weight for me is really easy because I do it quite a lot and it's not that heavy but just go for weight that is good for you and do a lot of reps I'm pretty sure you guys all knew I was going to do this one, the plank, because people's back either bend down like that or bend up like that. So the way you do a plank is you get your back straight like that and your bum tucked in, go down onto your arms and just lift your feet up and that, you hold that for about a minute and you'll get some core gain. Now your abdominal muscles are really important because that's what you use when you're running, if you're getting away from like a baddie or something. And another thing people do wrong with the plank is they either cross their arms like that when they're holding, which can be alright, or they put them out front like that. You want your arms still shoulder width apart, your fist needs to be clenched in the middle, or together like that. Just keep it at a good angle, keep your bum down, and you do well. So guys, that was my picks for the top five things that people do wrong when they're working out at home. I had to say, if you're a kid under, I don't know, 10 years old, don't try any of this. 
if you want to start working out as a kid, you should probably start with like your own body weight, so that's push-ups and sit-ups and stuff. You don't want to be lifting weights. Hope you enjoyed this video. I don't really know what else to say. See you guys in the next one.